Yeah, talk to me. No man is back. It sounds good. No. Yeah, it feel good too, man. You know, me and Gotti basically came in the game around the same time. Um, and you know, we just always, you know, kept a, kept a solid report. But I, I think this is the best record to date that we've had. Uh, Don Cannon came through in the clutch, and it feel like it's jizzle, baby. It's street, it's club, it's it's you know, it feel good. It still got them, and that boy talking that talk on there too, you know. Yeah, he is. So you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good collab. It sounded like that drop top music. What what inspired yeah. you to do this record? Uh, just just really want to want the anthem. You know what I mean? I felt like you know my last couple of um, you know, attempts just you know just came from a space of um just really not being in my pocket. And, I, and when I went to Canada, I was just like, I just want to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Because people were giving me beats, like this is what's going on now. And I'm just like, trying to figure that part out. And it's just like, no, nah, let me just do what I do. Like, and I, and I know one of my most comfortable is, is when I'm on things that I can just like take my shoes off on and just, you know what I mean? Just just get comfortable and lay back on it. And um, it, it just, to me, when I heard the beat, I was like, yo, this it, this, 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 this that first one. And we just put it together from there. And when I sat back and listened to it, I was like, damn, yeah, this is it. This is it. And I always wanted to do a, cause you know, your guy, he, he, he a club guy, you know, he, he stay in the club with them, them bangers. And I just felt like, um, you know, since lose my mind, I, I wanted one of those. And I feel like that was, this is, this is that next level of that, you know? Yes, it is. It's your birthday weekend. How yeah. crazy are you coming out? Oh man, I can't wait to get to Atlanta, boy. Listen, they're going to be playing my theme music when I get off the plane. I'm trying to tell you, you know, when I get off the jet, I'm ready to, you know, I got I got all my masks together, you know what I mean? I got some hand sanitizer, you know what I mean? But I'm coming out banging, baby. Yeah. So I thought I thought you retired at TM 104, man. Then you came back and gave us Pyrex 2020, and I'm appreciative yeah. of all that music. What keeps you motivated to keep going, bro? Ah, man, I love what I do, you know, and, and I think the retirement uh, statement got taken out of context. And I just, you know, I should have just really spoke on it, but it's just like, I know people know I ain't going nowhere, but I love what I do, man. I'm gonna be that guy, you know, I'm gonna be that guy. And I'm only looking younger, baby. So it ain't like, a, you know what I mean? But yeah, your age about I, I love it. You know what I mean? I, I love what I do. And I, I think if it's music or my new talk show on Fox Soul, Worth the Conversation or anything that I have a platform on, I'm always just want to give game. That's who I am. Like I'm, I'm a giver. Like if I got it, you got it. And I just always want to inspire and motivate and you know, sometimes we do it with music, sometimes we do it with words, you know, sometimes we do it with platforms, but as long as I'm able to do what I do, I'm, I'm gonna continue to do it. So we're guaranteed to get some thug motivation from your new talk show. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely some thug. And I'm gonna connect the dots too. Like, like I was telling my man, it's like, I've, I've been able to be successful because I've been able to um, be a chameleon and get into a lot of rooms that they don't let people like myself into. Um, and when I get in there, I get knowledge and that always puts me a, 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 a step ahead of a lot of things that I go through because I understand them. So for me, it's just like, I want to put my people in those rooms too. You know, I want to, I want to give my people the, the insight of what's going on so they can understand how to maneuver because I feel like sometimes the information is, 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 is hard, and, and it's not giving out because they don't want to give you the game. They want to keep you in the box. I'm like, I'm going to take the lid off the box, you know, so we all can get the game. Yeah. We appreciate that. So, um, what was one of the first albums you purchased, bro? First album I purchased, mm -hmm. man, EPMD. EPMD was my first album I purchased. Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style was the first album I was just like, this is crazy. <laughs> and um, from there, I went to the Cash Money, No Limit era, No, no Limit was when I was like really into, like where I was really into music, like because they was putting out so much music and I was just intrigued at how they was making, um, you know, this sound that I never heard before. And I remember when Pac died, um, Master P kind of like tried to take that voice. And I just remember like falling in love with music even more because it was like Pac was my guy. Like anybody know anything about me? You no, know, I, I know every Tupac song front to back, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, he, he you know that, that's what really made me fall in love with music. But my first album was EPMD. And I think my mama bought me a Fat Boys tape, and and I kept I played it until the tape popped, and I had to put the tape back on it and take it out the thing, screw it back up. Yeah, you know you know the scope. <laughs> you <feel me? laughs> really. So you have a lot of anthems, a lot of classics, not missing. If you could go in a time machine and play pop, one of your songs, what song well, you gonna play for pop? 
I would play him um, Done It All, produced by Justice League, that was on the recession. The recession, it was like the bonus track. Uh, I done done it all, Magic City, Honest, Honest. Stroke. Stroke. Cause I just like, that that that, that record, like I feel it. And I, I felt like, you know, I would have been like, yo, Pac, I, I need a 16 on this, you know what I mean? <laughs> you feel me? It could be an old one, but I need one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That was, I feel like back is the setup for a project. Is it safe to say that? I mean, you know, just keep your eyes open. You know, we go, we go, we go, it's gonna be the birthday anthem for this week. We'll talk next time, you know what I mean? How you love that? Well, yeah. happy birthday, dog. Your Be singles sure. going up. We're gonna go crazy with it on the radio, and we're expecting to see some, some elephants in the streets this weekend. Yeah, you know, some loud balls. Fight, man. Zebras and some tigers and lions, man. Keep your eyes open, baby, yo. But uh, yeah, <laughs> go crazy on that thing. You know, everybody out there, listen, back. Um, it's out. We dropping tonight at 12 a.m. And uh, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to be back out here, you know, moving around, baby. You know, what Corona? I'm out here, baby. <laughs> how, you, how you love that? The title of my show is Posted on the Corner. That's easy to remember from Trap Star, Posted you know. On the corner. I got you, big dog. Take it back when I was 16 with there a bankroll. All right. <laughs> 1,000, Snow. For sure.